You all can't seem to get enough of empowering your OBS installation to build better streams and to improve the functionality and make your life easier. So here's six more OBS scripts that you need to install and test right away. First up, we have OBS Recording Demuxer. This will automatically extract the audio tracks from your recording so that you can edit them in Audacity or Adobe Audition or Reaper or something without having to manually do it with FFmpeg or dragging in the file, and that's always a little bit slower or whatever. It just will automatically extract when you hit stop recording and spit out some WAV files for you to edit. Now, this will require OBS WebSockets to be installed, and you'll need FFmpeg setup to be executable through your command prompt. I will show you that in the Nebula extended cut of this video linked below. Now, I don't need this these days as I do most of my processing either in OBS or before my audio even hits OBS, but I used to have to use a, a whole FFmpeg script to extract my audio tracks all the time, and it wasted so much time and so much effort, and it was a real pain. And having this built in effectively to OBS is a lifesaver for a lot of workflows. It's one of those things that where if you've never thought about it, it might seem kind of silly, but if you know you need it, you know you need it. Next up, we have a dedicated script for corner pinning. Corner pinning is a way to effectively like 3D transform a source, an image, a video, or whatever to perfectly fit into a space. Now, this is cool for building cool backdrafts like, say, Kid Boga has, where you want to stretch an image to look correct in a perspective, uh, you know, in the background of a shot, in a picture frame, in a TV, what have you. Uh, and it's very difficult to do that with just basic 2D controls. So this gives you all four corners X and Y control to perfectly align a source into your thing. This is a basic Lewis script. You just put it in your scripts folder and you're good to go. Speaking of your scripts folder, I have a couple tips I want to throw in super quick for managing your scripts. Now, first and foremost, there are two types of scripts in OBS Studio. There are Lewis scripts, which require you to do nothing but just add them to OBS. And then there's Python scripts. Python scripts actually require Python 36 or newer to be installed. I will show you that real quick. So in my original take for this, I showed you installing a newer version of Python, but I always forget the documentation. You can only use Python 3.6 with OBS Studio. It's an absurd limitation. I, I don't understand why I haven't updated it yet, and you can't actually easily get installers for 3.6. But if you go all the way back to version 3.6.8, I will have this linked below, you can get an installer. So this won't interfere with your newer install. You can install it alongside the normal Python installation, which is pretty cool. But you will need to download that and install it. I'm going to choose not to add it to path because I don't want it to overwrite mine. I'm going to choose install. And once it's installed, you will need to tell OBS where it is. So go to browse. Go to C, users, your username, app data, local, and then programs. I have no clue why they install it there. Completely ridiculous. This isn't what app data is for. Python, and then Python 36. Select folder and then relaunch OBS. Secondly, when it comes to actually organizing your OBS scripts themselves, I highly recommend, at least if you're on Windows, and actually no, the same applies to Linux as well, making a folder in your user folder. So a, a, a weirdly underrated Windows tip, or, or Linux tip, I guess, is that your user folder is like the perfect place to store similar files that you use a lot because it's super easy to just back up this one folder and back up a lot of little things. And that's why, for example, your program configurations are stored in app data because then you can back that up and most of them will transfer to a new Windows installation. You also have .config for programs that were mostly built for Linux. I, I have a folder in here called Programs, which I just use for portable apps that have no installation. So they're always in one place that I can find and move between Windows installs. And then I have one similarly for LUTs, for the LUTs I use in OBS and DaVinci Resolve, and I have one for OBS scripts. So I recommend downloading all of your scripts to here so you have them in one place that you can always find and then easily identify where they are in the OBS scripts locator here. And you just add scripts, and then I go up to my user folder, which they should really always default to quick access, but there you go. And then I go to OBS scripts, and huzzah! Next up, we have Unfish Lens. Unfish or Fish Lens is a video effect filter that actually creates or removes the fisheye effect. Now, this is especially common with GoPro cameras, and I will have an example to show on screen where it kind of bows out in the middle or either on the edges because it's in the super wide angle view. And while that's great for capturing everything in the frame, when you're trying to use it as a webcam or just a natural looking camera, it doesn't look quite, quite right. And this filter gives you the control to adjust that or to cause it if it's a specific effect you want to enable. For example, if you do, if you have one of those hotkeys set up to punch in on your camera really tight, you could 
have that filter added as part of that hotkey that actually makes it look like you're using a super wide angle lens as you punch in on your face. It could be a cool effect. Again, I'll have a demo shown on screen. And then we have source search helper. This is a script that gives you a search box to find where your source is nested. If you have a bunch of crazy nested scenes and groups and all of that, like a lot of us do with more complex stream layouts, finding a specific source or where a specific filter is applied can be a nightmare. And this just gives you a handy search box that's going to spit out and help you find exactly where that is. All right, these last two scripts actually go together. Smart Start and OBS Auto Starter. These are scripts that allow you to launch other applications whenever OBS is launched, which means you can set up like for example a single stream deck button or just click the obs shortcut and as soon as obs opens it can open up say a, a i forget the name of it but there's a program a lot of people are using to monitor chat it can open up discord it can open up your notes app it can open up your game for example you can set it to automatically open everything you need to run your stream which is really freaking cool and both of these scripts effectively do the exact same thing which is pretty neat alternatively i do recommend looking into a program called atom which is kind of a companion app for obs studio which lets you do so many crazy triggers and actions and scripting and things like that based on what you're doing with obs studio and can let you do something similar if you're looking for more OBS scripts, tutorials, or the extra tutorial chunk of this video, go check out my own video site, Nebula. Nebula lets me continue to provide incredible tech education, incredible in terms of like breath. I'm not like, you know, hyping myself up, I guess, but maybe, maybe you think so. <laughs> uh, but things that don't really fit on YouTube that, you know, tutorials are very hard to get views on these days with search being further and further pushed down by YouTube. And it's just a place for me to get up as much raw content as I can to help those of you out. And it's super affordable because we've partnered with Nebula with CuriosityStream, a site with thousands of documentaries and entertaining content that wanted to form a power alliance to boost your educational goodness. Um, so you can get awesome series over on CuriosityStream like Cracking the Code, an awesome series about code breakers throughout history helping out with wars and other political events. And you can get both sites for the price of one. And that one price is under $15 per year with our special Nebula bundle. That is $14.79 for a year of amazing content over on CuriosityStream and all of my exclusive stuff as well as the exclusive stuff from other creators such as Thomas Frank, Legal Eagle, Low Spec Gamer, uh, Renee Ritchie, uh, Patrick Willems. His entire movie is up exclusively on Nebula. Lots of awesome content over there. Both sites for the price of one. That's curiositystream.com slash It's the best deal in streaming. Don't miss it. And remember, be kind. Rewind.